Today I'll be showing you how to clean out the dust from your computer case and also a couple things that you can do to prevent the dust from coming back. The tools we'll be using here, pretty simple. Here's one of these uh, air blowers. Please don't use a vacuum cleaner or an air compressor because those will leave uh, liquid or they will build up extreme amounts of uh, static charge. And I've actually fried a motherboard vacuum, vacuuming out a computer a while ago and I didn't know any better. Uh, but yeah, you can also buy cans of compressed air, so if you want to, you can use those. But this has always worked well enough for me, and once you buy it, you don't have to spend any more money on replacement compressed air. So yeah, we'll be using that, and just a dry microfiber cloth. Don't wet it down or anything, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be necessary. And uh, yeah, the first step is to just take apart your computer as much as you can. I've just taken the side panels off, swung the front door open, taken the, uh, the fan housing out of here, and uh, removed the filter as well. And basically, I don't want to spend too much time telling you how to do this. You're just looking for dust, and the best way to, and you're basically trying to blast it out. So I might shoot some air through the hard drive bays, uh, blast this out from behind. You know, these filters, you want to blast those out from behind as well. With something like this processor uh, cooler here, I'd take the fan off and again, spray that out from, from uh, behind. And this thing here, the main fan, yeah, blast that out as well. The video card, you may have to take that off and remove the fans if it's really dusty and get that nice and clean as well. And then you can close up your case and just wipe down the outside with the microfiber cloth. And you can also use the same cloth to wipe down the surrounding area of the uh, computer case, so underneath your desk or whatever, because Keeping that environment clean will make for a cleaner computer in the long run. The first thing you should do is uh, check all of your intake fans and make sure they all have filters on them. So all three of mine do, if they don't you can buy filters online for pretty cheap. And make sure they're these fine mesh filters, right? Something like this isn't considered a filter, this is just a vent. It doesn't prevent any sort of dust from entering the case. So uh, yeah, if you have a mesh filter on that, it should prevent uh, large particles such as hair from entering the case what we'll be doing is determining the pressure of the air inside the case. If it's under pressure, that's a good thing. It means that any of these open vents or whatever, uh, air will be flowing out of it, right? If you have a vacuum inside your case, air is going to flow inwards. Unfiltered air will flow into your case, which isn't what you want. So uh, to test whether you have compression or a vacuum, just simply tie some little plastic streamers onto an open vent like this. If you have positive air pressure in your case, meaning these things will stick out when your computer runs, you really don't have too much to worry about, but if you find they're getting sucked towards the vent or even into the vent, that means you have a very slight vacuum in your computer case. So what you should do is try and increase the amount of air flowing into the case. So uh, just check all your fan slots and make sure they actually have fans in them and make sure those fans work. If they don't, uh, either fix or replace the fans so that you have uh, working fans all around your computer case. And I also added a fan to the side of my computer case because for some reason uh, it didn't come with one, which is pretty stupid in my opinion. So I just cut out a square hole and uh, put a fan on the back, filter on the front, zip tied it all together, and that just uh, uh, dramatically increases the amount of air flowing into the case. And that should solve your problem, but uh, if you have to, you could always decrease the amount of air flowing out of your case. Now, uh, I would avoid removing fans from your case, if at all possible, because they are there for a reason. But you can slow them down, and if they have a switch like this, you could just switch that to low, if you want to. Uh, the other thing you can also do, if your fans don't have a switch on them, follow the fan wire back to where it connects up to your power supply, and uh, switch this red wire over from connecting up to the yellow, switch it over to the red wire here. This yellow wire is 12 volts, the red wire is 5 volts, so that'll uh, definitely decrease your fan speed and the amount of air flowing out of your case. Using those techniques I showed you, you should be able to achieve uh, positive air pressure inside your case meaning that only clean, filtered air will enter the case, and this will just help to keep dust down in the long run. Uh, but make sure you do keep uh, blow out your case every three months or so, just to get rid of any uh, dust that does gather in there. And uh, yeah, this will just help to make sure your computer functions better, and uh, hopefully extend the length of your machine.